Hi, I'm Only Trails, and welcome to season two. Yeah! I've decided to make an account that can only train skills or do quests when it's required for a clue scroll. My goal is to get every unique reward from every tier of clue scroll. And later in the end game, I want all the stats and all the items so I can complete every single monster clue. Currently, I'm on Elites. When I've done 50, I'll move on to monsters and get into the end game. I might be a dumbass sometimes, but you'll learn to love it. Enough rambling, let's do some clues. Hey, welcome to episode 41 of Only Trails. Today is going to be a big Slayer episode. Good thing is, this time we don't have to juggle our heart clues. We can actually just do all the heart clues we're getting from Slayer. First things first, one thing I want to unlock right now is the boss tasks. I can get Barrows from this. I can get... I don't know, can I get Jad? I probably can get Jad. Let's unlock it. And then the next thing I want to unlock is the Slayer Helmet. Now that's 400 points, I can actually already do that. But I'm gonna wait for a little bit, I'm gonna do a bit of point boosting, and then we have a goal to strive for this episode. If we don't have a task, I'm looking at the block list, and it looks perfect, in my opinion. Let's start this episode off with the first task from Neef. Let's do it. Aberrant Spectres. And there he is already, the very first superior of the day. Now I just realized that the best thing for me to do, probably, is get as many... Oh my god, a clue scroll hard, let's go! Let's do that one, like, instantly. So the best thing for me to do is get as many tasks in the current catacombs as I can, so I can just stack up on totems. When I'm finally done with this grind, I can do as many scatizos as I can. Meanwhile, we're going to do a bunch of hard clues, because, as I said in the beginning, I don't have to juggle them anymore. We can just do them. I hate the wilderness with every fiber in my body. Oh, some guy was camping the lava maze spot. Lost my clue scroll, nice. All right, Neve, you really gonna do me like that? There is one place I hate more than the Hellhounds, and that's the wilderness. I just, I just noticed how funny that no spec looks. Vedion. How many would I like to kill? Uh, three, please. I don't want to do more. I didn't even see what she said right after that, but my first boss task is going to be Vedion. Um, I'll do three. I'll do three, sure. Just gotta look up how to do that guy. All right, first things first for this is by... I can't believe I'm doing this. Uh, first things first is buy a crush weapon, obviously. I think the Dragon Mace is my best in slot crush. Plus 88, not too bad to be honest. Alright, let's try this shit. Let me get set up. Alright, here we go for attempt number one. <laughs> I'm scared. Alright, follow me, bud. We're just walking to the very first tile. We got it, we got it. Yes, 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 so far so good. Alright, this is out of his aggressive range, now we walked under him. We put on protect from melee. Oh my god, as if this is not gonna work the first time. Alright. And now east. And now he's stuck. <gasps> I actually pulled it off. <laughs> no way. Okay, turn off, protect from melee. Spec him. Oh my god, 31? What? Dragon Mace! Oh my god, how am I pulling this off? Come on. Alright. There's a second form and half HP is going to spawn a couple dogs. So far so good to be honest. Our, oh crap. Let's eat real quick. Go up to full. Don't need protect melee anymore. And back on Vedion. <laughs> Wait, what? Take <laughs> bail, sit. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Come on. Ah, oh, shit, that was not on purpose. All right. Let's put these on. Second form. Come on, boy. Dragon Mace, don't disappoint me. Crap. Come on, he's almost half. He's almost half. Let's drink a prayer pot before the dogs come out. This kill is taking a long time. Yo, Pilsy, this helped me with these chaos dwarfs. I love it. All right, that is one hound down. Let's get the other one. Why is Fedi on purple again? Are you kidding me? No. Not like this. Uh, uh. <gasps> no! What? Alright, Genie, you're fucking the worst place. The worst timing in your entire career. What is happening? Alright, we got him set up again. Maybe I'm killing him too slow and I can't do this for him. I don't know. Let's try this again. Alright, I just came up with maybe a genius plan. Thing is... I was thinking of quitting this task, it was not gonna work with this setup. Then I thought, what is the best crush weapon I can get? So I looked up, I was thinking, and there was nothing better than the Dragon Mace. Except for one thing I already have. The Torax Hammers. We might actually have found a use for the Torax Hammers. Back with the same setup, but this time we've got the Dragon Mace for the specs, and the Torax Hammers for the general damage doing. I hope this is gonna go better. I'm pretty confident we can get a kill with this because we were so close last time. Got him. All right, first things first. Pot up. What? Why did he fuck? Why did I fuck up? Do, do I have him now? Fuck. What? 
Am I actually just going to do them like this? It's actually working quite all right. Fuck it, we'll do them normally, whatever. Oh, fuck's sake. I just realized that I lost my defender. Luckily, I have the previous one on my bank. All right, so let's list these hammers. Boom. Boom. Oh my god, no way that is working. Yo, the Torex hammers are shredding through this guy. Come on, let's go. It's the second form that I'm worried about, though. Nice. Uh-oh, he moved. Why did you move, dude? Fedion, don't fuck me like that, dude. Take me out to dinner first. This is the moment. This is the one. It has to be. I don't know when he goes back to purple, but we've got to be as quick as possible for sure. Just want to know if I can actually kill it, to be honest. Because if it goes back to purple now, I'm fucked. Let's go. Come on. The last stretch, boys. Come on, big hits. Don't fail me, Mace. Yes, big one. Come on. 75 more. Oh my god, come on. These hits are beautiful. These hits are beautiful. 30 more. Come on. Don't go do No! I'm not giving up. Here we go again. Look, the game is giving me hope. <sighs> Yeet. Alright, if it's not happening now, it's never gonna happen. This is the best speed I had yet. Just eating a little bit too much because I'm missing flicks. That's the only thing I could improve on right now, I think. Bought up everything and this is the only this is the only chance I'm getting. This is the best chance I'm getting. I'm never gonna get any better RNG than this one. Come on. This is gonna be a close one though, but this is by far the fastest one. Come on. Do it, dude. Only trails you can do it. Torax hammers don't fail me. Come on. A couple more hits. That's not enough. That's not enough. Come on, trails. Give me a big one. Is there anything else I can turn on here that is going to give me any any boost whatsoever? Just gotta wait it out. 22 more health. Come on. Ah! Come on! Come on, this is it. Come on. I'm teleblocked. Are you kidding me? I don't care, I'm going for the If this... Really... This is actually gonna happen. This guy's smiting me and everything? Wow. That's it. See you later, Vedeon. I tried my absolute best, dude, but that was just not happening. And there's a thing I've been striving for for a little bit now in this Slayer grind. We got 70 defense so we can actually wear our Barrow's items <laughs> for once. Now let's get back to strength. Uh, you know what? Let's go straight for 99. Right, we on this Slayer grind, and for the first time ever, I don't have to juggle heart clues, as I said a thousand times before, and I'm so happy I stacked up five heart caskets here, guys. So, third age would be great, but not expecting it. Well, let's see. That is not great. Let's keep going. Banner's Playbody, that's a monster clue requirement, but unfortunately we already have that. The 106th casket, an armadil page, a rune playbody T, that might be a unique. I don't know. I'm not sure. A lot of law runes and lumberyard teleports. I would have rather liked uh, some... What's it called? Shades of Morton teleports. That would have been great. Anyways, the last casket of the five. There's going to be plenty this episode as I'm doing Slayer literally all day. Casket number 108. Couple sharks. Okay, I won't complain. That's a lot of alcohols. Holy shit! No hard clue was almost under 100k, except for one. One, two, three, four, five. Let's say that was about 600k. Not bad. Aha! Uh -huh, it's been a while that I actually missed the level, and it was probably the most important one for starters on this episode. <laughs> I missed 77 Slayer. All right, guys. Anyways. It's going pretty smoothly uh, with the cannon and the chasm of fire here. I'm just meleeing and cannoning at the same time. This seems to be going the fastest, to be honest. Let's spec it for the 87 strength. Wow, that was a shitty spec. All right. <laughs> there we go. 87 strength. Is it a combat level? Yes. Combat level 98. Only four more greater demons to go. This task was actually incredible. I was debating on skipping it because I thought this was going to go slow. But holy shit. This was so worth it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm happy, boy. Uh, just got the leaf bladed battle axe. Finally, it's been a while uh, since I've came to kill Korosks, but I've been hoping for this drop for a while now. Um, I don't know what to drop, to be honest. And now we got a better, a better in slot to kill these, kill these guys, right? All right, this is going to go a little bit quicker now. I'm really happy with that. Oh, boys, it's that time again. I just completed my fifth heart clue casket, taking them out in the inventory. Here we go. Oh my, that is 10 caskets already. The Slayer grind going good, 77, 111k more to go. And the strength level is also slowly getting there and almost the hit points level. So, without further ado, let's open these. Hopefully we get a couple of sharks, always nice. But I would like something something special. That's a lot of purple sweets. Is there anything? Some sharks, I'm not complaining, but all right. That is all pretty trash. Barely any of these are over 100k. So this last one, hopefully something decent. 
Wow, that was a very terrible opening. Alright, you guys are probably wondering, Trails, what are you planning this time, dude? Why, why do you have everything on? What do you... <sighs> Lads, if you look at the first slot of my inventory, I just got a brittle key from the gargoyles. Which means I can fight the grotesque guardians. Um, <laughs> I have no experience in all this, this is all new for me. We already failed one boss fight this episode, and I wouldn't be surprised if this is the second one. But, we're going to try it. Uh, I don't know how hard these guys are. Um, the biggest problem is for sure going to be range and this disgusting mithril defender. But I'm gonna try my best. So, uh, without further ado... This is the outfit. Addy arrows, also disgusting, I didn't have any rune arrows anymore. If I die, I can get my stuff back for 50k, which is not the biggest issue. The biggest issue is just wasting this key, in my opinion. Anyways, here we go. Oh my god, alright. Second boss fight. But as you can see, I did not bring my rock hammer. So it didn't end well. <laughs> Anyways, let's try this again. Alright lads, uh, for real this time, let's do it. I think I, g I got the hang of it. Last time went actually pretty great. But, I completely failed to bring a rock hammer. It didn't say it in any guides, but they probably had the rock smasher slayer unlock, so. Here we go again. Get your dance moves on. Okay, it's not- it doesn't want to dance today. Dance, there we go. The Addy Arrows, which is awful. Soon when I go back to Barrows for Elite Clues, I really want a Carol's Crossbow. That thing is gonna speed up everything so much. Oh, Mad Brace, don't forget it. Don't forget it, don't sweat it! Get him out of here! Oh, big spec. Come on, baby. Can I actually use my rock hammer now? There we go. Alright, now this guy. Get out of there. I have no idea what to pray. Crap. Should've looked into this. Hit him one more time. Hit me, baby, one more time! Come on! I got it! Oh my god! Oh my god, yes! Phew, that focus, though. That was so not worth it. <laughs> that was so not worth it for the loot. But I'm so glad I got it. Oh my god. Jesus Christ, 12 HP. I didn't play that properly. Let's be honest. 1,300 Slayer XP. That is not worth it, but at least we did it, right? One boss fight completed. We failed Vadion. We'll get revenge on that guy later, but we got the grotesque guardians out of the way. Lance, I feel like this is an iconic moment, so I'm going to record it. We got the Rune Boots clue step. We got them, but we're going to put them in the stash unit. Room boots are no longer going to be in my bank. Goodbye, old friend. There we go. They're gone. They're out of my bank. Three more bank spaces freed. Are those things memories? But now we're on some new boots. <laughs> hey, another level. 76 mage. It doesn't unlock anything. This is not the greatest task, Blue Dragons. I spent a little bit too much time on this, but, you know, at least I got a heart clue out of it, so. Hoping for Dagonauts, Calphites, or Cave Horrors today. I'm going over to Konar. This is my 250th task I'm going to pick up now, and by completing this, I will get 630 extra Slayer points. Bonus Slayer points, which allows me to unlock the Slayer Helm, the Slayer Ring, and maybe the Gargoyle Smasher. I don't know about that last one, though. But... Konar hit me up with that beautiful 250th task. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, no, I'm not gonna do Gen General Grother. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my god. That's something we can't do, for sure. I want something beautiful. Blood Veils in the God Wars dungeon. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll do that. Alright, I've got a Brimstone Key. Let's quickly do that one too. Boom. 455 coal. That is absolutely beautiful. So let's get this 250 task Go and get that point boost. And keep going. So, yeah, I missed it again. 88 strength. That is a big one, because 403k XP later, we are still 77 Slayer, but we're getting closer and closer. Only 28 more Blood Vells to go, and then we have the 630 point boost. After that, I'm probably going to do a little bit of Wildy Slayer, so I can stack up on some Mysterious Emblems, and maybe upgrade my Magic Shortbow to a Magic Shortbow Eye. Because I feel like I'm lacking in range damage a little bit. But I'll see you guys when this task is over. Ready to kill my very lost blood felt of this task. Unfortunately, I didn't get any brimstone keys, but 630 points. Now I'm gonna head over to Cristiala. Christ, Christia? Christ, Christil, Cristilia. I'm gonna head over to Cristilia real quick for a wildy task because I am actually looking to upgrade my magic short bow as I said before, and what better way to farm a couple of mysterious emblems. Well, I didn't realize that I already did 20 wildy task streak, and now I got 125 extra points, so I'm 1,246 Slayer points now. Let's get a new task. So I already got a new task, but before I fuck anything up, <laughs> let's first unlock the Slayer Helmet, even though we can't make it yet, we need a Cave Horror task for that first, and I'm also thinking of unlocking the Slayer Rings. I think I'm gonna wait on that for a little bit. 
I'm not too confident about this because I skip a lot. <laughs> And there we go, 78 Slayer. No unlocks though, but that is the second Slayer level of the video. The plan is to go up to 80 and boost to 85, so I can get the Dragon Boots and still have a bit of leeway. All right, for the end of the episode, I have another five hard caskets for you guys. That is 15 in total this uh, episode, so it was not that bad. It was pretty good. It went pretty good. 78 Slayer. We didn't get the Black Mosque, uh, the Dark, what the, the, the Slayer Mosque, unfortunately, but um, that's something for next episode. It's something we can strive for. It's a goal. Enough worrying. Let's get these five hard caskets out of the way. Let's get some third age, something beautiful. Narda teleport, elf camp. I really want some Morton teleports, actually, if you're going to give me teleports. I already have that ornament kit. No, it could have been so great. That could have been so great. No, god damn it. Okay, three more. I'm not expecting anything out of these. Lost three. No, that's absolute trash. But the total worth was actually worth it. It was not bad. Unfortunately, that berserker neck ornament kit I already had. So, yeah, that's pretty shitty. Anyways, lads, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you have, please consider subscribing. Put that bell on so you get notifications. And put the bell on always, because apparently you can put it on sometimes or something. It's really stupid. Just put the bell on. Put the notifications on always. That'd be great. That was it for me for this episode. I'm here every single Wednesday. So I'll see you guys next week. Oh my God, I feel blessed. 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 Oh my God, I feel blessed.